Zambia is one of the 196 countries in the world that has approved the United States Convention on the Rights of a Child, which aims at protecting the rights of children everywhere, to be free from unfair treatment based on skin color and age, and be free from violence and neglect, and many more. Today, I would get to go in a parade with my friends with shirts and posters that say, Children of today, keepers of tomorrow. Me and my friends did not get to go because Zambia cannot afford transportation to get there. My country is very poor. Children in Zambia are hardly getting enough food to focus on school and get a good education. If my country cannot afford to feed us and educate us, the children in Zambia will be left hungry and we would not experience the opportunity for an adequate education. Hello. My name is Mulu Brazulu, and I live in Zambia. I'm 13 years old, and I live with my three brothers, my uncle, my mom, and my aunt, and her two daughters. My dad died from malaria when I was very young, so I don't remember him very well. My other brother tells stories of him all the time, though. It is very hard to live without a dad. All my friends learn from their dad. My uncle takes my dad's place, though. He is teaching me how to read and write now. My uncle also taught me that Zambia has 72 different languages that people speak. I speak English, along with my friends from school and my family. I live in a house made out of bamboo and mud. Bamboo and mud are very nice to live in because from November to March it is very rainy, and in April to October it is very dry. There are droughts in Zambia in the dry season. I am great, very grateful for my daily life, and I, and I have many people around me making life better. Like I said before, my uncle is teaching me how to read and write. In Zambia, only 53.3% of people can read and write. I am proud to be one of those people, thanks to my uncle. In school, I am learning about the history of my country. I learned that my country is a republic, so that means we elect representatives to represent us. You can vote for who you want to lead Zambia when you are 18 years old. My oldest brother can vote, as well as my mom and my uncle and my aunt that live with me. I can vote in five years. I also learned that the original name of Zambia was called Northern Rhodesia, but the name was changed to Zambia upon independence in 1964. In Zambia, school is split up into three groups. I am in primary school. Primary school is first to seventh grade. Next year, I will be in secondary school. This is eighth to ninth grade. One of my older brothers is in senior secondary school. This is from 10th grade to 12th grade. I am very lucky to be able to go to school because 80% of kids in Zambia get to go. My country is very beautiful. There are many beautiful places and animals. One beautiful place that I learned about in school is the Victoria Falls. It is the largest waterfall in the world. It is 1,708 meters wide and 108 meters tall. It is very beautiful. My family said they would take me there one day. We also have very cool animals. There are African elephants, lions, white rhinos, hippos, leopards, zebras, giraffes, and many more. Zambia's highest point is the Magfigna Falls and is 2,301 meters above sea level. Zambia's lowest point is the Zambezi River at 329 meters above sea level. Zambia is also filled with many great materials. We have copper, cobalt, silver, uranium, lead, coal, zinc, gold, and emerald. My brother and uncle are miners, and they always talk about how much they love to mine. When I get out of school, I'm going to take care of my little brother because my mom is getting old. My country is very low on money, especially right now. Since we are in a global pandemic, our country has been suffering a lot. Zambia is the first African country to default on debt during COVID-19. A debt arrangement gives the borrowing party, in this case Zambia, permission to borrow money under the condition that is to be paid back at a later date, usually with interest. Zambia has borrowed all the money that they can and cannot pay it back. The people in Zambia are left hungry and cannot focus in school. Most people in Zambia make $170 a year from work. This barely gives them enough to get by. My brother makes the money for my family, and my uncle makes the money for his family. This means that $170 has to pay for all five people in my family and four people in my uncle's family. This gets very hard sometimes. Zambia's GDP is $19.70 billion. A GDP is an economic way to determine how well a country is running. In other words, the GDP will show whether a country's bank account is gaining or losing money in a certain amount of time. Zambia's low GDP reflects how poor a country it is. 
Since my country is struggling with wealth, we are not getting the most proper education and moreover, the people in my country are not being fed well. As a country, we must figure out a way to get more money. For kids to be able to learn, they have to be well fed and well rested. Kids need somewhere suitable to sleep and able to get a good rest. Our country will have to keep borrowing money if something doesn't change. Our country is very beautiful and having kids starving will not help. If we don't protect Zambia's beauty and money, the next generation will not get what they deserve.